The battle for top six intensifies as Aberdeen the Sheep have shagged their way back into contention here as Hibs let an early lead slide. And I think I said Aberdeen had no chance of a top six finish, but that was only if they lost this game, which of course they didn't because they managed to claw it back. And I feel like Aberdeen, I mean, if I say that, like, I mean, I think it literally would have been a no chance because they lose this game, they'd have been on 32 points, five points behind with two games to the split. So, my logic saying there was no chance when they were getting beaten this game was right on the money. But even there, I mean, things aren't looking particularly great for Aberdeen because they're... It's actually mad. Like, right, Dundee United have just moved up to 49. Live score here in the uh, the, the flash score impact zone. But, I mean, from 5th down to 10th, two points. Like, absolutely insane. Um, but Aberdeen sit 10th. And I think that's shocking. Like, I mean, even though Glass was shite... I think there should, there's no excuse for Aberdeen, considering the actual squad that they've got. Yes, it's not exactly the, the Galacticals like, but I think it's a disgrace that Aberdeen are, were even in um, this position. Like, But Hibs kicked off this game rather, rather well. Aberdeen, you know, not that good. Lewis Stevenson had a folly that um, was denied by Joe Lewis, who's been made uh, club captain after Scott Brown's departure. Which um, Goodwin pointed out there was, there was no bad blood between the two of them, but ah well. But Hibbs' early pressure kept paid off as Calvin Ramsey, the highly rated youngster, scored an own goal. Not ideal for um, Aberdeen, so that goes to 1 0. Um, then Aberdeen, they try and find their way back into it um, as the big man came against the run of play, but Lewis Ferguson grabs himself a brace here the day, gets one penalty, but hits the arm of uh, Bashuri, Rocky Bashuri, who's a, a football manager legend at this stage of the game, and then Ferguson stood up and managed to get a penalty. Ryan Porteous then, absolute donut, um, gets sent off, awful, he needs, he honestly, Portis, man, he's a ticking time bomb. I think Portis has potential, like, to be something good, something great. But it's just not good. It's just not fucking good, I'll tell you. Just not good for the big man. But, yeah, he gets sent off. Another penalty for Lewis Ferguson. Um, and then Aberdeen, from this point, they're 2-1 up. Hibs doing the 10 men, they've really got no chance Hibs at this stage, at best they could probably hope for is a draw, but even, even a draw, like, I mean, Aberdeen's chances of getting this top six finish would have fucking capitulated, but you know, that didn't happen, and then Besajian, he makes it eight, on the 80th minute, 3-1, and when it's 3-1 doing the 10 men, they had no chance, Watkins managed to get themselves an assist, but yeah, two clubs, that in my opinion, should easily fourth and fifth, even, well, they should be challenging Hearts, realistically, but Hearts are fucking clear, they don't even, Hearts don't even need to think about anything, um, but yeah, embarrassing guys from these two. Well, I mean, at least Hibs are actually in fifth, even though it's not a clear fifth. Aberdeen, on the other hand, pathetic, embarrassing. But they managed to win here. Will they finish in the top six? My prediction is no. They really should be, but they're not really going to. But anyway, guys, that'll do it for this Fed and Fog football. Back with Fids tomorrow. Loads of Fids coming in the next couple of weeks, man. Rangers, of course, advance from further in Europe, helping the Scottish coefficients. But until next time, that'll do it for Fog Football. Like, comment, subscribe, all the action coming at you thick and fast. And, uh, aye, we could have Scotland games coming up. The big flurry daddy had to go and shaft this, didn't he? But until then, peace.